Okay, welcome to Tuesday's homework, graphing ordered pairs uh, for Tuesday, August 21st, 2012. Uh, we're going to jump right in. We're going to graph a triangle with vertices at the following, 3, 7, 3, negative 4, and negative 5, 7. So like I've explained in class before, uh, I really like to write down the ordered pair x comma y. That reminds me that the first position, uh, in this case a 3 here, a 3 there, and a negative 5 there, that first position corresponds to the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis. The second digit, that 7, that negative 4, that 7, all correspond to the y-axis, uh, which is a vertical line. Okay, And on the x-axis, the positive region is to the right, the negative region is to the left. On the y-axis, the positive region is up, and the negative region is down. So let's uh, jump right in and start graphing. Uh, we'll start with the first point there, 3, 7. Uh, I'm going to go to the right three points, and then up 7. So I should end up at that spot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop a point right there. And then the second one is 3, negative 4. So I will go over 3 and then down 4. That should put me right about here. And then the third one is negative 5, 7. So I should move to the left 5 and then uh, up 7. Okay, what did I move to the left 5 there? And that was because it was a negative x. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drop a point right here. And uh, it says graph a triangle. So then I'll want to connect these points. Um, you may want to use a straight edge. Uh, it'll look a little better than my triangle. Um, and let's see here. Whoops. We don't need that guy. Um, and that's not working here. So uh, I'll just erase that. And then um, we'll just move the paper. Let's see, it looks like you have uh, six problems, so I don't want to do them all, but that gives you an idea of what you need to do. Um, in this problem, notice that they don't mention a triangle anymore. Up here in this problem, they mention a triangle and a triangle. So this, this, and this should be a triangle. Uh, this has four points, so this could be a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, a kite, all different kinds of shapes. So um, have fun figuring these out. Um, these all have four points, as you can see. Um, and let's take a look at the second page. Um, we don't actually have a second page, so I'll have to load up the second page in one moment. All right, uh, in this problem, it's called Raisin Boxes. This is side two. Maria's class counted raisins in his small raisin boxes. Each group counted the raisin in their small box. There were 11 different boxes. The class made the graph below of what they did. Uh, so here's a graph, and essentially this represents uh, somebody, one person counted 24 raisins in their box, one person counted 26, two people counted uh, 28, or I shouldn't say people, there was one box that had 24, one box had 26, two boxes had 28, one box had 29 raisins, three different boxes had 30 raisins, uh, two boxes had 31 raisins, and one box had 32 raisins. With the rest, uh, there were no boxes that had 22, 23, 25, 27, uh, 33, 34, 35, or 36 raisins. So the teacher said, study the graph and predict how many raisins you think you might find in the next small box. So they want us to predict. What's your prediction? What do you think? Okay. I would tend to go with whichever one has the most uh, amount on this graph um, because it's most likely to happen. Uh, it shows that that one is most likely to occur. Uh, then explain how you decided on your prediction. Well, you have to explain kind of like what I explain now, but you need to put it in your own words. Okay. We look forward to seeing your homework and um, have a great night.